What an episode, guys, and what is up? Chi here, bringing you another review on Fairy Tale. This one, I gotta say, was very enjoyable for me. Uh, from beginning to end, really. We start off with Agnologia actually showing his past, and we're talking, well, obviously, we don't see that very often. He was a doctor taking care of dragons, uh, specifically uh, the dragon Agnologia, who was. I guess the guarding of his town uh, he only wished that he was stronger that he would have more ability to help him out uh, and uh, this dragon Akologia actually told him that there's been a rumor about dragon slaying magic and so he decides to go find about this and some time has passed and we see this dragon Agnologia actually kind of turned on uh, the town and Agnologia as well. Well, Doctor, because they didn't even say what his name was before. But we see that he decides to destroy the town. So, interesting flashback there. And then we have present day with what's going on with the rest of the dragon slayers. They continue on trying to take him down with no real result in fact Agnologia was just standing there he actually wasn't having any need to move whatsoever so that was showing them and all of us how powerful he actually is this man didn't even have to move anywhere he didn't flinch and they threw just about everything they could at him with no luck and while that's going on during the time rift they're having to worry about the physical body of Agnologia or dragon form Agnologia and they're having to figure out what to do like this man well this dragon excuse me is actually on their way to them right now and they have no plan whatsoever but thankfully we have Lucy who comes up with a plan which I will say I normally don't get to talk good about Lucy because she's really just fan service. But in this episode, she has true, well, in the last couple of episodes, she's truly shown her geniusness and like really being very proactive throughout the series uh, at this point now. And we're seeing that she comes up with the plan of having them splitting into groups. Uh, she wants as many fairy tale members as possible to lure him to the sea. And then have him be on a boat because all dragons have the weakness of being all I guess uh, nauseated when they're on moving vehicles and so a boat would be probably the best option and she thinks about using one of the first masters uh, spells uh, the fairy sphere the same spell that protected them when they were on Tenro Island So those were kind of cool to have that call back from many many moons ago and now to have it you know, brought back for this, you know, it just shows that There is still some stuff from the past that are that is still very useful So luckily we have them figuring this out. We have freed Le uh, Levy and Lucy going to the library along with Carla and Happy and trying to find this book even Master Makarov was there uh, and be Though they were attacked by one of Agnologia's blasts. They do manage to find the book and so lucky enough for them Everyone else was able to distract them uh, One of the things I was also very happy about in this episode was that we were able to see all of the dragon slayers and some of the other members that we didn't get to see much like the Orasian Sace they were actually speaking and actually having some kind of role in this which was something I've always wanted to see I wanted more participation from other characters especially ones that have redeemed themselves and I think uh, now that I mentioned dragon slayers Cobra is one of them he's a character that unfortunately does not get much Talk, much talk much uh, opportunities to be part of anything unfortunately and I think that sucks but in this episode we get to hear what his thoughts are what he's thinking and that's something that I really liked about him in this episode like even though he was getting the crap pounded out of him Cobra was it's, it's always been a character that I liked I respect him and his redemption is also something that I definitely like 
So it's been very good to see, you know, characters that we don't normally get to have spotlight put on them have in this, uh, these last couple of episodes. So uh, it's been very, very, very happy for me. You know, I very much enjoyed that. Uh, but l unfortunately, you know, their plan to lure uh, Dragon Form Agnologia away from the others that were arriving could not last very long he actually then starts heading back so it was good to see you know that because of strong magic or large amounts of magic have him distracted and it was funny too with like even throughout all of what's going on one of the things that was really funny to me was like we had uh, Leon and the rest of his group just kind of chilling and he had like a Juvia cup I'm like, this is so random. This dude is just sipping tea, like, all right, the fight's over. But then Mass Juvia and Gray show up uh, before everyone else does, which I thought was hilarious, where Juvia was like, oh, I guess happy and thinking about, you know, uh, Gray. It's like, oh, he can only bring couples at a time, and we are a couple. And it was just hilarious. Like, even in this moment of seriousness, we got to see a little crack of jokes there, and... I enjoyed seeing, you know, them acting this way, but <sighs> nothing good lasts when it comes to these plans. Unfortunately, even though Lucy and everyone else is on their way back to meet up with the rest, uh, we have Agnologia destroying the ships, and by instinct alone, he actually does this. So it's crazy to see that this guy is smarter than we realize. He's always kind of had a great plan. Uh, ahead of him and he only wants destruction like this dude should have been in Dragon Ball Z I mean Dragon Ball Super and become you know God of Destruction dude like I mean Hakai everything right <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed this episode I definitely did and I cannot wait for the next episode uh, for more battles between the Dragon Slayers and Acnologia uh, and see how that goes you know it's been a roller coaster so far but that is it for me guys hope you guys have enjoyed leave your comments down below what you think like the video if you did and as always stay safe and i'll catch you later